Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is the second update on Shiba Inu of the day. And I want to take a little bit of slightly different approach on this and talk more about the Google Trends data that we see when we look at Shiba Inu and put it up against, you know, some popular other assets, especially ones that are related to the community-based tokens, such things as uh, Kishu Inu, Akita Inu, um, Safe Moon, and then we're going to take a look at some other trends against other popular assets like your Cardano's and Bitcoins and Ethereum's. So this will be a pretty interesting video. Um, before we get started, this is not financial advice, just for entertainment and informational purposes only. I do a lot of this work as well on the live streams. We did a nice job with this uh, last night, and uh, we had a lot of other people chipping into the chat saying, hey, check out this asset, check out this asset. So if you're interested in that and a whole lot more about Shiba Inu and the entire crypto space, as well as the stock market, uh, make sure you join us for our live streams. Right now, we don't have an exact time set up, but we will have a uh, scheduled time uh, in the future. If you want to know when we go live, just follow me on Twitter. It's at Z underscore Humphreys. That's Z as in zebra underscore Humphreys. So we take a look right now. Shiba Inu is number 40 in the uh, top market cap assets. So still Hanging around in the top 40, we take a look at the 24-hour high and low real quick here. 6.8 level is our 24-hour low. We seem to bounce off that pretty quickly when we do get down there uh, as of late. Couldn't get up to that 7.5 level, but really close there at 7.47. Now, if you remember before the correction, this, this latest correction, we were hovering in that 8.5 period for a long time. So we'll see if we can get back up there. And if we can charge past that, uh, we should break through to that 10 level, and perhaps the 11 level. So of course, we're waiting on Shiba Swap news, but let's get into some of the Google Trends data right now. So if you take a look here, this is uh, just googletrends.com. You can take a look at these searches and you could do this on your own time too. But uh, here in this video, I'm going to show you kind of how this works. So this is a worldwide view. Past seven days, we're looking at Shiba Inu, and these are all color coded, okay, versus Safe Moon, Kishu Inu, Sanshu Inu, and Akita Inu. So we've got uh, three different Inus in there and Safe Moon. All right, so if we take a look at the data and we can see all of these numbers then add up to 100, okay? Shiba Inu in this chart in particular, crushing every other asset. Now, SafeMoon has gotten a little bit closer, very similar trend lines to here. Now, interestingly here, we can pull this out and say, okay, what if we wanna just see today? Okay, just in the 24 hour period, we can see Shiba Inu still in the lead here in the 24 hour period. Interesting thing to note here, Kishu, Sanchu, and Akita, well below uh, Shiba Inu and Safe Moon. Now, if we pull this down, let's go out 30 days real quick and check out what that provides us. Okay, so if we take a look at the 30 days, we can see Shiba Inu go back uh, beginning of May, about a month ago. A lot of people were searching it up, right? Because this is when it hit all time highs. So it makes sense. So here we had a little cross uh, crossover where um, Safe Moon and Shiba Inu really uh, knotted up here. Or they, they got tied here at 33, but then you could see as the month of May continued, uh, she did hold a slight advantage and still does, but it is tightening up a little bit here. That's June 8th. This data usually takes about 48 hours uh, to conclude, so we'll get June 9th data probably sometime tomorrow. So if we scroll down here, you can start to see by region here uh, where people are mostly searching. So Nigeria in the past, uh, what is this, 30 days? Let's go back to seven real quick. So we'll go past seven days here again. And if we scroll back down, we'll see by region, where are the particular areas where most of the search is happening? So Australia, a lot more people searching Shiba Inu. Same thing could be said for Malaysia, Indonesia, a lot of people searching up uh, uh, in the US, we can see it's a little bit closer, but Shiba Inu still has the advantage. Same thing in Canada. How about down here in Brazil? Yes. Uh, how about in Argentina? So pretty cool data here. We scroll down, then you get individual assets. So you'll get Shiba, you'll get Safe Moon, which Safe Moon had a lot of interest here in the last week in Nigeria. The hotter uh, or the warmer these colors, obviously, the more search traffic you will see. Uh, and Sanchu Inu also. Nigeria getting a lot of love there. Now, interesting here, Akita Inu, Romania, uh, along with Slovakia, getting a lot of interest in those particular regions. So this is uh, Shiba Inu against these four assets. Now let's take a look at Shiba Inu versus Dogecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Cardano. So as you can see, Bitcoin, clear winner here. Uh, no surprise, really, right? 
Bitcoin the most uh, dominant cryptocurrency, the most well-known one? If somebody's really new to the crypto space, they may only know Bitcoin. Interestingly enough, though, Dogecoin, along with Ethereum in this one, are the tied for winners, uh, tied for second place, I should say, which is interesting in and of itself, right? This would say, this would indicate in the past seven days in a worldwide search that Dogecoin and Ethereum are being searched about the same amount, which is kind of fascinating, right? When you consider Ethereum's number two market cap, anybody close to the space would say, well, way more people would know about Ethereum. But Dogecoin, to the unpopular um, crypto investor or the um, less experienced crypto investor or somebody who doesn't even know really much at all about crypto, they have heard about Dogecoin. And I think that's what kind of showing out here in the trends. Now, when we look at Cardano versus Sheeb, Sheeb has a slight advantage over Cardano. So that is a, that is a slight win for Sheeb. Even in the past seven days, Cardano, a very popular asset as well. And again, we can scroll down, look at individually by the region where the most search is coming from. So if we hone in here on Shiba Inu real quick, we'll see the US, a lot of interest, Canada, look at Australia, a ton of interest here. India, a good amount of interest. Of course, the um, Relief Fund and Sandeep Nawal, which we're actually gonna get into later on in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit more about uh, that as it relates to Polygon as well. He is the co-founder of Polygon, one of the co-founders. But anyway, India has a much higher search volume here on Shiba Inu than these other assets, including um, big assets like Ethereum, right? So here's India, fourth most populated country in the world. And they're not searching up Bitcoin or Ethereum nearly as much as they're searching up Shiba Inu. And this is something I talked about right when Vitalik decided to um, help out India. I said, this is gonna be a long-term net positive for Shiba Inu because it's gonna gain, uh, we're gonna gain interest in a, in a population, it's the second biggest population in the world. I think I misspoke. Indonesia is the fourth most populated, um, or I might have said that correctly earlier. India is the second to China, right? So let's take a look at one more uh, Google Trends comparisons here. So now we've got Shiba Inu versus Polkadot XRP Theta, which has really come into its own here as of late. This is the leader in the NFT space, the non-fungible token space. Tether is also listed on here. Okay, so what we can gain here is of this chart, Shiba Inu is getting the most interest over popular assets like Polkadot and XRP. Uh, we see XRP is in second place, okay? Still a pretty distant second. Theta is right there in third place, Tether, and then we see Polkadot coming in in fifth place. So if we scroll down here, we can get an idea. And this is actually United States only. So let's go worldwide here and see if that changes. Uh, that's interesting. So it is set to the United States. That's where I'm currently located. Okay, so we still have Shiba Inu in first, but look how much closer now Shiba Inu is to XRP when we go out to the worldwide. That's interesting in the past seven days. Now, we take a look at the breakdown per region. Look at Tether in Russia. That's interesting, right? A lot of interest there. Uh, United States still holding to Shiba Inu overall. India as well. Um, but now we go to Saudi Arabia, we see XRP getting a lot of interest. Brazil, XRP slightly outpacing Shiba Inu here. So really kind of cool data here. Ukraine, same thing. Uh, Turkey, a lot of interest in XRP. So scroll down here, we could see some individual uh, data here. Again, XRP getting a ton of love here in Turkey, a lot of interest in Australia, and quite a bit of interest in Canada as well right now. So uh, as well as Ireland over here, and a little bit in Spain, a little bit in France, a little bit uh, sprinkled in in Europe. Uh, what's this one here? Norway, uh, pretty interested in, as well as the UK. So pretty interesting stuff. Now, Theta, we take a look at Theta. Look at this now. Theta is getting a lot of interest here in the US, decent interest, but look at India on Theta. That's interesting. As well as Australia, they're getting a lot of interest there. And then we could see Tether, very popular here uh, in Russia, as well as some decent interest in China and Australia and the US and Canada as well, uh, as well as some interest in Europe too. So pretty interesting stuff here. They also give you related queries. So other things people are searching next to this XRP, right? Which can also be pretty interesting. Polkadot actually, El Salvador is close to that. If we looked at the Bitcoin chart here, you would see El Salvador's on here quite a bit. So, all right, before we, um, so that's really, the, that's really it for the Google trend. So if that's all you came for, uh, you can just head out of the video, but just make sure you like on your way out and subscribe. But there are two pieces of interesting news that I wanted to bring to everybody's attention as well. Uh, just some more recent articles. Benzinga, 
They do a lot of work on um, the top cryptocurrencies to date and some altcoins to kind of watch. And they talk about how to use decentralized exchanges uh, with Uniswap and PancakeSwap, best, best cryptocurrencies for less than a penny. And you can see our beloved Shiba Inu is on their short list here. Of the five assets, SafeMoon is also in there. Has gained popularity over Dogecoin, has uh, Shiba Inu with celebrities like Elon, while Shiba is seen as a meme coin, or I like to say community coin. It's more functional than Dogecoin, which is interesting. Okay. It's more functional than Dogecoin as we speak right now. Now, Dogecoin, they're working on those sort of things, but right now, present day, Shiba Inu more functional than Dogecoin. Also, its market cap is much smaller than Doge. Since Shiba Inu is an ERC20 token on the Ethereum, which is one of the main reasons why I got into Shiba Inu, because uh, I'm a huge Ethereum bull, the platform aims to build a DeFi ecosystem called ShibaSwap. ShibaSwap will let investors stake their Shiba Inu tokens for interest in the near future. So thought that was an interesting piece there. The best cryptocurrencies for less than a penny to hop into right now. Shiba Inu made the list. And then this news here came out on Polygon, or Matic, as you may know it. And just a quick mention here of Shiba Inu coin. They talked about Sandeep Nawal and uh, his relationship now with Vitalik. Uh, they, they've been pretty good friends from my understanding. Uh, of course, he set up the, uh, Nawal did, the, um, the crypto relief fund over there, which, re uh, which received 1 billion from Vitalik Buterin's Shiba Inu coin. I just love that this is still in the press in these articles that are coming out. I said uh, right when this came out about a month ago now that this is going to be a nice long-term catalyst over time. Again, you've got to be patient. Uh, we're looking at this five years down the road, hopefully. If you saw my last video I put out this morning, I asked a lot of the viewers, how long are you planning on holding this? I also am running a poll over on the community tab. So if you haven't taken that poll, go over and check it out. I'm, I'm curious to see how many people are planning on holding this thing for the long term. So again, if you got some value out of this, uh, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe as well. Shiba Inu down about 5% right now. But again, long-term mindset. Long-term mindset. 2025 is how long I'm planning on holding this. And uh, unless it gets to a penny, then we might have to reconsider some things. But hopefully you got some value here. And uh, guys, I'll see you in the next video.